Do you know how to make good decisions? Do you know what to look for when partnering with someone? Do you know what to watch out for and what not to accept in your life? Welcome to this episode of Going Deep where I'm going to share with you all about how to make good decisions every single time if you choose to. And I'm your host, John Morris. Welcome. Welcome to today's episode of Going Deeper with John Morris. Join the show that voyages into the deeper subjects of life, from mental and physical health to emotional and spiritual well-being. But that's not all. John also goes even further into more focused areas such as anxiety, depression, weight loss, and fitness. This is the only place to go deeper in your self-discovery journey. Now please welcome Mind, Body, and Soul's very own John Morris. Hey folks, and welcome to another exciting episode of Going Deeper. I am your host as always, John Morris, the coach for the creative mind and psychologist in training. Today we are gonna be talking about decision making, how to make good decisions and what to look out for and avoid to stop you from making bad decisions. So the first things first, what is a decision? A decision is something that we conceive in our mind that then should be followed by an action. So let me give an example, brushing my teeth, for example. I decide when I'm sitting downstairs after having my cup of tea and my cereal that I am then going to brush my teeth. So I get up from the sofa, I come upstairs, brush my teeth and I'm done. Decision, action, decision, action. If I decide I'm going to build a business or a website, I decide, okay, what is the, the vision? What is this business all about? Who is it serving? What's going on? Then it's met by an action. Okay, you see where I'm going here? Decision, action, decision, action. But it is possible to make bad decisions. And I want to talk to you now about, you know, the difference between good decisions and bad decisions. What is a good decision? A good decision is something that is going to help you get from where you are to the next step in where you want to be, okay? So that's making a good decision. A bad decision is something that takes you off track. So for example, if I decide that I am going to go to the gym, okay, I want to get big, I want to get fit, I want to get strong, okay? And I decide that, okay? Now we've got our own gym within the, the, the complex of the house. Um, so, you know, I've got the gym downstairs. There really are no excuses except from time. A bad decision would be, instead of going down to the bottom of the hall and turning right, I go to the bottom of the hall and I turn left. I go into the living room. I go sit, watch TV and, and pig out on potato chips and crisps and pizza for six hours. Okay, that's a bad decision. Why? Because I didn't get any fitter. It didn't help me in my goal. And if anything, it took me further away from my goal. Do you see what I'm saying here? So that's important to really examine the situation. Remember, observe the situation, not necessarily partaking of the situation, but observing the situation and say, is what I'm about to do going to help me get to my goal, my next step, my next point of call, whatever it might be? One of the questions I get asked all the time, aside from how to make good decisions, is this. How do I know if partnering someone or working with someone, and this doesn't matter whether you're in school or college or university or in business, okay? This is one simple principle that works literally everywhere across the board. And I always get asked, how do I know if working with so-and-so is a good decision? I have one big, big, big thing that I look for all the time when I'm working with anybody. And it's this, this either tells me whether I can work with this person or if I can't. If a person tries to rush me, if a person tries to push me into a decision, my instant response is no, you are not for me. And they may say, you know, as, as all business people do and all marketers will do and all sales people do, well, you've only so much time, Mr. Morris, before the price goes up. You've only so much time, Mr. Morris, before, before this happens, okay? If someone, now don't get me wrong, if I'm standing in a burning building and the fireman says to me, Mr. Morris, you need to jump out the window right now, that's a, <laughs> that's a very different thing. But in everyday life, we don't tend to burn in, in buildings every day, um, but in everyday life, what usually happens is if someone's trying to push me into a decision, they're trying to stop me, there's what's called a mental interrupt or a mindset interrupt. They are trying to stop me from thinking for myself and they're trying to push me into a decision. Oh, that sounds really good. But they know if I start thinking about that decision that maybe I'll start to find holes in it. And if I find holes in it, I'm maybe not gonna buy from them or I'm not gonna to want to work with them or I'm not going to, whatever it might be. So whenever, usually in business, or, or like I said, when it's working with somebody, if a, 
person tries to force me and rush me into a decision, I will nearly always say, I don't think this is right. Okay, that's something that I always look for. Other things that I always look for, and here's a little list, you can obviously pause this and, and you, can, uh, you, know, you can check this out for yourself, you can write them down. But if it's something, like I said, that rushes me, if they frighten me, if they push me into a decision, if it confuses me, if it condemns me, if it stresses me, discourages me, or worries me, then those are really, really good telltale signs as a whole for not doing something, okay? and for not working with that person, not making that decision based on that. If I sit there and I think, well, am I peaceful? For example, about group coaching, I'll give you a group. Sometimes group coaching can be a little bit scary, especially working with teenagers, because it's like, okay, what about if they ask a question that I don't know the answer to? Well, that's okay. Okay, you figure out the answer. You, you say, look, and I nearly all the time do this. You, you maybe have to sit there and say, I don't know this right now, but give me some time to think about it, to ponder it, and I'll find a solution for you, I'll find an answer for you. Or oh, better still, how about you find the answer for yourself? And I'll ponder the question as well, and let's see if we can come up with an answer together. Why is that important? Because it means we're both thinking. You see, there the difference. But I digress. When you are making a decision, you should never ever have to sit there after making that decision and think, I'm not certain that was the right thing to do. I'm not certain and I'm worried about it. I'm not certain, see, I'm not certain, I'm not certain, I'm not certain. If you're not certain about making a decision, it means that you don't have all the information that you need to be able to make that decision. Do you see now where I'm going and how decision making can be so important? So what do you need to look for then? Final things when you are making a good decision. Make sure you know as much of the information as you possibly can. Make sure it's something that when you make that decision, you don't rush into that decision. Even if someone says to you, well, it's only open for another 32 minutes, well, fine. If I haven't decided in 32 minutes, let it go. Because if I haven't decided in 32 minutes and it's given me certainty and peace and comfort and, and whatever else I need it to give me, then it's not for me. A good decision should be, should, should be something that leads you on in your journey from where you are to where you want to be. And a good decision should be something when you go to bed at night and you switch out the, the light, that you lie back and you think, I've made the right decision. I can go to sleep in peace because I know I've made the right decision. Now, some things like buying a house and buying a business and, and starting a business, they can be scary. And they can lead you a little bit into worry, but for different reasons. But ultimately, you should have peace knowing that it's taking you from where you are to where you want to go. And I hope that helps you today, folks, in making decisions. Make wise decisions because everything... Let, let me tell you this, just before we wrap up. Where you are now, in your life, in your journey, in your home, in your business, in your job, is a result of all the decisions that you have made in your life. Simple, if you want to change your life and make it better, start making better decisions. It's literally that simple, there's all to it. Success is not difficult when you understand how to actually get these principles in place and start building upon them. Remember, success is nothing more, a successful life is nothing more than a string of successful months, a string of successful years that start from a string of successful days all tied together. And that's what leads to a successful life, making wise decisions, making good decisions. Make sure you know all that you can. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments section below. And don't forget, as always, to like, share, and subscribe. Please tell a friend because it will help them uh, in hopefully making better decisions in their own lives and hopefully encouraging them as well in whatever they're going through. Come and visit us at thebattlesweallface.com for Katie's blog. Uh, you can check that out and to see the work that Laurie, Katie and I are putting together um, with group coaching, with personal one-on-one -on -one coaching. There'll be a video at the end of the show um, so as you can see more about one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. Places are limited and they're filling up fast. So if you are interested, you're a teenager, you've got a teenager, or you are a creative mind, or you maybe just want a little bit of guidance in your own life, then get in touch with me and I'll be more than happy to help. Have an amazing week, folks. This has been Going Deep. I've been your host, John Morris, the coach for the creative mind and psychology and training, and I will see you next time. Do you struggle with motivation? Feel yourself procrastinating a lot? Have amazing ideas and dreams, but struggle with the concept of how to get from where you are to where you want to be? Or maybe looking for something a little bit simpler, like wanting to get fit, or maybe wanting to lose a few pounds and tighten things up. 
Are you someone that struggles with anxiety or trauma or even depression? You're not alone. Many people around the world do. Hi folks, I'm John Morris. And for the last two decades, I've been working with people from all over the world and all walks of life to really understand human beings, the concept, the behaviors, and ultimately the reasons why. And I've had the privilege of coaching and working with folks just like you, that maybe are struggling with anxiety or depression or trauma or wanting to get ahead, wanting to maybe build some long-term success, but have no idea how to begin. This is what I do. And with John Morris Life Coaching, you're in really, really good hands. Why can I say this? Because you're not only gonna get an experienced life coach, you're also gonna get somebody that has a wide variety of experiences from youth ministry and working with teenagers and children to someone who's worked with drug addicts and alcoholics, people that have day-to-day -day dependency issues, to, to somebody maybe just like you that just wants that little bit of encouragement, wants that little bit of motivation and wants support to get to that next level. With John Morris Personal Life Coaching, you're in really good hands. A lot of my clients would tell you if they were here now that one of the greatest assets to John Morris Life Coaching is you can see things exactly as you want to see them without fear of being controlled and conformed like a lot of therapists and coaches do. We help you right where you're at to get to the place that you want to be, step by step, to figure out a plan. So if this sounds like something that you would be interested in, having that support, motivation, encouragement, and even education, should you need it, then get in touch with me today. I would love to hear from you. Places are limited, so please don't delay. We've got a very, very small window of opportunity remaining. We all need help from time to time, but the difference between success and failure, achieving our dreams, and maybe just letting our dreams go by, depends on the level of help that we have available and that we're willing to accept. So get in touch with me today at John Morris Life Coaching. You'll be glad you did, and I'll see you soon.